If you're probably playing Palmer right now, you're doing a couple things. Either you're building a base, you're getting better pals, or you just kind of started Pal World and you are just grinding and grinding. And you kind of want to know what is next. Today, we're going to be talking about the major update that everybody's waiting for, what to expect and when to expect it due to the fact that we've gotten some really interesting communication snippets out of not only the dev, but also the community manager. Today, we're going to be talking about that and what to expect. So to kick it off, let's get started and taking a look at the roadmap. So you, for those of you who don't know what the roadmap is, and for those of you who do know what the roadmap is, I'm going to put timestamps so you can literally skip through this and get to the meat of the video. But let's just talk a little bit exactly on what's going on with the roadmap. So the roadmap, as you guys know, we had uh, pretty much three subsections within the roadmap. We have the address, uh, addressing the critical issues that actually got completely fixed already. We got the improvement to the implements ASAP, which are the configuration improvements and improvement to the base pals, AI and pathing that also got fixed. It needs a little bit more tweaking, but that got fixed. The main thing we're focusing on are the planned future updates. So the planned future updates are PVP, raid bosses, pal arenas, uh, Steam Xbox Crossplay, various Xbox feature improvements, server transfer and mitigation, improvement to the building system, new islands, pal bosses, and technologies. So that's the part that we are extremely excited for and we're really waiting for. But recently we got some really interesting news on where that exactly is going at and how fast we could probably expect that. So it seems like there's been a little bit of a setback uh, to something that they really didn't anticipate that was gonna be taking place in the game. And that, my friends, is cheating. Yes, so they didn't really see this being such a big problem. And it seems like people are going really, really crazy with this cheating aspect because it's not even what you possibly think where people are modding the game and getting more, you know, getting more pals or, or getting more loots. It's not that type of modding. This is actually a little bit different and something very nefarious that I didn't even think was possible in this type of scenario, but it actually is. So this is what's actually happening. This is what they say. They say currently some users are unable to connect to the official servers due to cheating. And this is the part that I really want you guys to pay attention to. And it says, and the influence of fraudulent activities. We have confirmed that some players aren't able to play the game properly. So this is really important because it's not so much the cheating aspects that's messing up and slowing the team from actually creating more content is the fraudulent activities. And you're probably wondering, what are these fraudulent activities? What could be so fraudulent about cheating? Well, I'm going to explain that a little bit. And they keep saying, as a company, we do not tolerate any fraudulent activity or cheating and we are working on measures to deal with this strictly as a priority. So guys, one of the biggest reasons we haven't really gotten like a, a, a huge update or time frame of when we can expect these changes is because of this. The cheating is actually plaguing the PAL world system. And it's not so much the cheating like I want to stipulate once again. It's actually the fraudulent activity. So what exactly are people doing with this fraudulent activity? Well, people are taking people's bases people's servers for ransom yes you guys heard it correctly for ransom so basically what the hackers are doing is they're going into a player's base and they're like you not if you don't want your base to be destroyed if you don't want to lose all your pals send me some money and we won't destroy your base this is actually what's happening guys and, and this got it has got to stop because imagine if you put like yeah i would say 50 hours 60 hours let's say 200 hours 400 hours building your perfect base you got all your pals everybody's set and someone could literally just come into your server and nuke the heck out of your lobby and it's everything is gone it's gone and you, you know you got, can't build it back and some people are even getting their servers hostage because what they're doing is they're not even allowing the people to connect to their servers without people having to pay for it which is it's just crazy i didn't even think this was a thing but it is a thing. And I wonder from you guys, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, they are taking some steps to actually address this. These are the steps it's taking. This says, first of all, we plan to release a player list function for servers in an update at the end of February. Through this, we will strengthen the identification of players who engage in cheating and the suspicion of their use by the development team. So basically, they're implementing some sort of like uh, gamer tag or gamer identification number or username that you will be able to see it when they join the server. So you could know this guy's bad, that guy's not bad, and you could actually report that. 
Um, then they said, following this, we plan to introduce an external anti-cheat solution to take measures against particular frequently fraudulent activities and cheating. So their main goal, if you notice here as I've been reading this, is pretty much that fraudulent part. That's the one that's really messing them up because what they're saying, what they go ahead and say next kind of makes me kind of 100% uh, you know, coincide with this assessment. It says, please note, in the case of community servers, single player and co-op, the use of this function is optional. So the cheating is not so much a problem of people duplicating their gear or, or you know, people's, I don't know what else do people do, but like, you know, that's the only thing that comes in my mind or, or giving their pal superpowers. Uh, apart from that, uh, their main problem is the fraudulent activities that are actually taking in place. It says, in addition to the above measures, we will continue to take through measures against future cheating and fraudulent activities. Although the development team is dealing with each issue on a daily basis and taking measures, there are many cases where we're not able to keep up and we apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. Our entire team is working hard to get everyone back to the state where they can enjoy the game comfortably and with peace of mind as soon as possible. Thank you, the uh, support team. So basically, guys, this is stopping the progression and is stopping us getting content. Now, the question is, Laser, when can we expect this content? When is the time frame? Well, thanks to Becky, she actually gave us a kind of time frame of when we could expect this. So first and foremost, they start off with a big thank you note and they're very proud of what they've been able to accomplish within a month March. And I guess Becky kind of adjusted due to the fact that there has been some articles that saying the, you know, that the player count has dropped from power compared to the 2 million. Now you have like 800 to 750,000 people playing. It's still a lot guys. It's still a lot. It's still a lot more than other games, but it's not 2 million. So, you know, a lot of people are putting these titles in these uh, articles just, you know, get views, which is good. And it's true. But, you know, it's still a big amount of people playing it. So regardless of that, she does say the following. In May of 2023, I was convinced that Power World could break the 5,000 player mark. Anything above that seemed unobtainable, though, and I certainly never expected to reach into the millions. It has taken years to get to this point, and Power World only really begins from here. Everyone is working hard to fix the issues and prepare new content and pals so the issues you guys know what those are now some of you may have had your fun over the last three weeks and found yourselves putting the game down that's perfectly fine this is where she's kind of addressing you know the the articles right so this is where we get the information the emerging pal world has lost x amount of player base this course is lazy but it's probably also a good time to step in and reassure those of you who are capable of reading past a headline that it's fine to take a break from the game, you know, like Helldivers, which is actually doing pretty good. We have uh, other games coming out as well, which are like Nightingale. We have Dragon Dogma 2. We have Final Fantasy. We got a couple of really good games coming out. So she, they're saying, you know what? It's okay if you take a break from the game. And we're going to have you guys covered with other games. So don't worry about it, guys. You guys will be covered regardless of whatever game you're playing. We got your back. It says you do not need to feel bad about that. And this is where we kind of get the time frame. It says Pal World like many games before it, isn't in the position to pump out massive amount of new content on a weekly basis. New content will come and it's going to be awesome, but these things take a little bit of time. There are so many ma amazing games out there to play, you do not need to feel guilty about hopping from one game to another. If you're still playing Power, we love you and I want to know who's still playing Power. Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me see my Power World gang up in here. Also guys, if you're still playing Power World, Head on over to our Discord server and try to get, let's get our Pal World community up and growing there on Discord. That'd be awesome. And it says, if you're still playing Pal World, we love you. If you're no longer playing Pal World, we'll still love you. And we hope you'll come back for round two when you're ready. Awesome. So basically what we're saying, guys, is don't expect any major Pal World update in a couple weeks, in a few days. It's going to take a little bit. So we're expecting the time frame from this, if you usually take into account what she said, that they're not like a big studio that pushes content every week. Usually when you're dealing with a major AAA company and you're pushing out live server games and you have either a weekly or a monthly uh, you know, influx of new content, this is what you can expect. Based on what she said in her statement, um, it's looking to me like our update for Pal World will be towards the end of March or mid-April. 
And that is the time frame I kind of give it that we're going to be getting maybe a new set of pals. I'm really looking forward to a raid system. I don't feel like PvP is going to get introduced due to this issues that they're having with cheating. I think they really need to address that first. And they also need to fix the mitigation of the servers. So I personally think that's going to be the main focal point. But I think anything like bigger dungeons or bigger raids uh, or more pals doesn't really hurt the cheating and the fraudulent aspect of the game. And you can still dish out new content. So that's what I expect coming soon. The pal arena actually looks pretty fun. They actually had a trailer, which we'll talk a little bit later in a future video. But with that being said, I think personally... Uh, we expect something like around March or April. Now, if you guys have a different time frame that you think it's going to drop, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think the time frame will be for the Power World update? Let me know what date you guys think in the comment section down below. I hope you guys are enjoying our Power World content. If you are doing the heat for you guys, drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications so you won't miss when we go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.